Milwaukee Dive Apparel, shirts and hoodies for the serious diver. On the web at milwaukeediveapparel.com. Earth. Over 70% of our blue planet is covered by water. Creatures big and small alike share this barely explored realm. Off the western shores of Canada lies a collection of wind and rain cut rocky islands. Separating Nagy and Balaclava Islands is Browning Pass. Less than half a mile across, it looks just like any other stretch of water, but below its surface lies a diver's paradise. A popular base camp for divers is the Browning Pass Hideaway Dive Lodge. Owner-operator John DeBowick not only knows where to dive, but when to dive. With a tidal swing of as much as 16 feet, it's crucial that divers enter the water at slack tide, the short period of time between the ebb and the flow tides. More than 50,000 marine species live in the nearshore waters of our oceans. The crown jewel of temperate diving, British Columbia's Browning Pass is a shining example of the rich aquatic biodiversity that is found on North America's west coast. From large pelagics such as humpback whales, orca whales, and white-sided dolphins to the smallest nudibranchs, life of all shapes and sizes can be found here. Water temps during the height of summer will hover in the mid to high 40s Fahrenheit with visibilities of 15 to 30 feet. Popular dive sites such as Seven Tree and Eagle Rock are small islands and after dropping to about 30 feet where the bulk kelp begins to attach its steadfasts to the rocky cliffs and ledges, the real show starts. The walls become steeper and continue to drop off to depths of well over 100 feet. These rock walls are completely covered in life. There is so much life here it is stacked on top of itself like layers of an onion. It is said that an entire dive could be spent staring at all of the life in just one square meter of browning wall. The white short plumos anemones are abundant, as are rose anemones, green surf anemones, and the giant white plumos, which can grow to three feet tall. Like everything else here, sponges also come in many shapes, sizes, and colors. Brilliant yellows and oranges, deep reds, and the very unique brown dead man's finger sponge. Amid the anemones and sponges, if you look carefully enough, you will see tiny crustaceans such as the hermit crab, who uses somebody else's discarded shell for a home, and the decorator crabs, who selectively attach items to themselves to aid in camouflaging. The giant acorn barnacle is a type of arthropod within the subphylum crustacea and is hence related to crabs and lobsters. They attach themselves to the reef where they dwell continually in their shell, reaching into the water column with modified legs. These feathery appendages beat rhythmically to draw plankton into the shell for consumption. The orange peel is one of many different types of nudibranch found in these waters. Often called sea slugs, these gastropods range in size from a foot long to under an inch. The frosted and opalescent show how shape and color can vary greatly as well. The starfish, or sea star, is an opportunistic bottom-feeding echinoderm. Starfish possess a wide diversity of body forms, sizes, and coloring. 
As seen here, they have the unique ability to regenerate lost arms. Another echinoderm, the sea urchin, slowly goes about searching for its next meal of algae. Another favorite food of urchins is the chitin, a primitive mollusk with an armored shell made of eight segmented plates. Irish lords, china rockfish, and lingcod are just a few of the dozens of species of fish divers will see in Browning Pass. The plethora of invertebrates also includes clams, sea quills, and Puget Sound king crab, like this 3-inch juvenile or this 2-foot adult. The cephalopod E. deflini, commonly known as the giant Pacific octopus, is one of the most intelligent and curious creatures in the ocean. Males typically live only three to four years, but can easily grow to over 15 feet across. The octopus can change its body texture and color at will by contracting or expanding tiny pigment-containing granules within cells known as chromatophores in its tissue. This specimen is a young male, probably only a few months old. Upon the inevitable return to shallow waters, one might see small cross jellies floating along on the current, or a lion's mane jelly the size of a basketball. At the surface, during low tide, the intertidal creatures can be seen on the rocks waiting for the water to rise again. Just as it is below, the beauty and diversity of wildlife above the water is overwhelming. Majestic bald eagles watch the boats go by from high above in their lofty perches. Divers regale one another with stories of rare sightings and magical encounters, all the while wondering what treasures the next dive holds in store for them in Browning Pass, British Columbia. Milwaukee Dive Apparel, shirts and hoodies for the serious diver, on the web at milwaukeedivapparel.com.